This video demonstrates the installation process of three-phase low-voltage energy storage inverter. Attention! Electrical equipment shall only be installed and maintained by qualified electrical technicians. Please read the inverter user manual before installation and verify that all the accessories are included in the box. The inverter is heavy. Please pay attention to personnel safety during handling and installation. Please install the inverter in a safe location that meets the requirements for easy ventilation and heat dissipation, and avoid direct sunlight. When the inverter is running, there may be risks of high temperature and high voltage. Please install the inverter in a location that is not easily accessible. Unpacking Use a suitable tool to open the carton. Take out the back bracket and accessory bag. Install the back plate. Determine where to place the inverter. Use screws, spacers, and nuts to secure the back plate to the bracket. The installation is complete. Mount the inverter. Align the inverter with the hooks on the mounting plate and hang it. Screw the fixing screws included in the package into the fixing holes. Inverter installation completed. Grounding cable connection. Connect the ground wires crimped with OT terminal to the ground point on the side of inverter. DC side connection. Please use a multimeter to measure the open circuit voltage of the PV strings. Distinguish the positive and negative poles. Ensure the DC voltage is within the allowable range marked on the nameplate of the inverter. Please refer to Solis demonstration video for making of DC connection cable. When the solar module is exposed to the sun, high voltage will appear on the DC wire. Do not touch the DC wire. Before connecting the inverter, please ensure that the open circuit voltage of the photovoltaic string does not exceed the limit of the inverter. The solar modules connected to the same MPPT must have the same specification, the same orientation, and the same inclination. When you hear a click sound, it indicates that the connection is fastened. Battery connection. This product is compatible with the battery modules shown in the table. This installation uses a Pylon Force H2 lithium battery. For battery installation, please refer to the battery manufacturer's instructions to install the battery. Connect one end of the battery power cable to the inverter. and the other end to the battery. AC side connection. Unscrew the black nut and connect the load AC cable and the grid AC cable through the corresponding port to the corresponding terminal. Communication connection. Unscrew the nut and remove the black cylinder. Connect one end of the BMS cable to the CAN port of the battery. Connected to the BMS at the bottom of the inverter. Connect the CT cable to the CT port. If you choose a silly state logger, Please connect it to the CALM1 port at the bottom of the inverter. Connect the antenna to the antenna at the bottom of the inverter. Close the communication cable protection cover.
Tighten the four screws, and tighten the nuts. Power on debugging. Please visually check first to make sure all cables are connected properly. You can pull the cable lightly to confirm that the cable connection is tight. Close the battery switch and AC circuit breaker. Close the DC switch. If the DC input voltage is greater than the startup voltage of the inverter, the inverter will start up.